Welcome back to Futsal Oz in Melbourne, Australia. Michael Chevello joined by two stars from Pasco Vale. I've got Tanzilla Serati with me and also Danielle Galina. Ladies, welcome up to the hot seat up here. Tanzilla, you're tasked with the interview because someone chickened out, but once again, <laughs> it's okay. But listen, guys, I, I want to say straight up, even though Pasco Vale have been thumped this season in every game, we are big fans. Because we've been saying week in, week out, we see potential in this Pasco Vale side and particular potential. And I'm going to put her on the spot. This young lady, Danielle Galina, Tell when me she's about it. making her runs through the centre and when she's distributing the ball, when she's going forward, Pasco Vale look good, don't they, Tanzilla? 100%. I agree with you. Who else? Who else in that team is really the, the, the maestro that can string it together for you? I see a target point in Maurice Fekopoulos. Maurice, wonderful, I think. She is. Uh, uh, Zahara Aboid, I think, mm -hmm. is fantastic. Alicia Arado's confidence seems to be building every week. Are these the players you're focused on that can lead this team to a possible victory somewhere down the track this season? Hopefully. Um, I think that is our all-star team there, right there. Right there? That's yeah. the core of it? That is. That's I the nucleus? Like, yeah. 100%. What's the feeling around Pasco Vale at the moment? I mean, even though you have been beaten, there's potential there. You guys see it, right? You see that you're watching the replays. You see that you opened up Fitzroy a couple of times tonight and yeah. it resulted in a goal. You opened them up a few more times. You were unlucky not to score. I mean, honestly, tonight, Pasco Vale could have gotten four, maybe five on the board against the champions. Do you feel that way? Yeah, I do feel that way. I think we can work a lot better in our defence. Um, I think we've just, honestly, we've just started working with each other, playing with each other. I think, yeah, definitely, d down the line we'll oh, definitely... Now you want to talk. Now you want to talk. <laughs> now you wanna talk. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, we just kept my headphone on you. It's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll definitely, we're improving. I see I see a lot of improvement happening in our team. Is it a matter of getting to know each other? Because one of the, the, the things we noticed in the game seems to be maybe a lack of communication. There is. Of there's someone, maybe one person taking charge, taking control, like Chloe Junotsky does for Fitzroy and going, hey, this is where we are. This is where we need to be. Let's see what's on the field and communicating with each other. Is that what you guys yeah. need? Like that strong leader on the court? Yes, we do need a leader on the court. Um, at this very moment, we don't know who yet to put. Who do you think is most likely to emerge there? I think she's sitting right next to me. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, uh, one more player. I want to, she still wants to talk. <laughs> we want to put the headphones on for all money tonight, this woman, yeah, but now like, she wants like to talk. <laughs> <laughs> there is one more player I want to mention, though, Stephanie Yang. Mm -hmm. I thought Stephanie had a great game tonight. I thought she, she put herself in some magnificent positions she just couldn't capitalise on. I mean, is she a talent you guys are keeping a close eye on? Because she was marvellous tonight, Stephanie. So she came to training on Monday, and we saw potential, and um, it's, today's her first game. So, so she literally just joined the team on yeah. Monday. Literally. That is amazing. That's two days, 48 hours yeah. later, <laughs> since stepping on the court with you guys for the first time, yeah. Stephanie Yang has a game like that. She should be full of confidence. She could be that leader you're looking for come later on in the year. That could be. Can't wait to see you girls in action again next week. I can't say congratulations, but you know what? There's signs there, and it's positive for Pasco Vale. I look forward to seeing Tenzilla Serati more. I look forward to seeing uh, and interviewing Daniela Galina who will talk <laughs> next time I get up here. And to all the Pasco Vale, <laughs> keep the faith. We love you, Pasco Vale. We'll see what we've got next week. Folks, stick around. More action to come.